Welcome back, St. Thomas More. Welcome back, students and staff, to our home. Um, as we move forward, I got a couple things I want to say. So, first of all, uh, we I have a simple goal here at this school, and that is to stay open. And that goal to stay open is simple because if we stay open, it's going to be because we're safe. And if we stay open, it's going to be because we are where we belong, and we'll be able to live and, and learn and work where we all want to be. I know that all of you have made a commitment to coming back to school because you love to be here. It's our collective goal then to stay open. Now, how do we do so? Okay, first of all, we gotta be very, very careful with our protocols. So the three I'm gonna focus on here are screening. You have to do that screening every day. Teachers, are, we're gonna start checking it again. Uh, students, if you didn't get my uh, email, it was on Instagram this morning, but there's simple ways to get to that screening, but it's changed since you last did it. So please take a good look at it. If you're sick, stay home. If you're not sure, stay home. Uh, one day at home is not gonna disrupt your learning too much. We just spent about a month at home. So one day or two days at home while you're trying to figure out whether that's a legitimate uh, COVID symptom or not is a, a day well spent or two days well spent. So please consider staying home if, you, if you're not quite right. And finally, we got our two obvious ones. You gotta wear a mask at all times and do the distancing. Uh, both of these things have been a challenge here at St. Thomas More, but we gotta double down and focus on these things. So I just want to... Um, <laughs> Sorry. I just wanted to uh, finish with a couple of things. So if you're ever reminded to maybe wear a mask or you know, put it above your nose, below your chin, etc., just remember, we have about 2,000 people here. There are vulnerable people in our building right now, people who are dealing with chronic illness, serious illness. And even if it's not them, it's somebody that they live with. We have people who live in multi-generational homes, meaning they're living with a grandparent. They might be a primary caregiver, and yet they're coming to school. And they're coming to school because they're committed to their learning, but we gotta do our part to keep them safe. And not every single person in the building needs to explain that to you. So even though you may feel, and you might even feel truly that this virus is not an issue for you. Perhaps you've had it. Perhaps you're in good shape and you think you're very healthy. Perhaps you've, been, you've received three vaccines. That doesn't mean the person beside you feels the same way. So please, in an effort to keep everybody feeling welcome to be here, the place where they belong, I'm asking everybody to just do their part not just for them, but for the people around them. And if you are reminded to wear a mask or to get distance, take it the way it's intended. And the way it's intended is for us to keep being here January, February, March, April, May, all the way through June. Because I really hope, and I'm sure that you would agree with me, that the last period of remote instruction is our last. And we can have a part in making that happen. So let's do our very best, St. Thomas More. I know that we will to value what we have here uh, where in our second home, where we belong, and make sure that we're doing everything we can to make sure we can come back week after week, month after month, right through June. Have a wonderful day. SDM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8, what, 8.18? Have a great day.